Welcome back to Debris Day. Today on Debris Day, it's the portal kit and modifications on Skyrim. Let's see if we can do it, guys. Okay, guys, this is how to install mods successfully into um, the portal kit, which is running Skyrim mods, which is on Skyrim, which is on a Mac, running Skyrim from the Steam store, if that makes sense. Right, okay, so first things first. Um, let's kick off the porting kit. Um, whilst that's kicking off, go to the library. Um, we've got Skyrim installed from the previous video. Go to Skyrim and hit the play. So that'll start up the Steam. In the background, you need to do a search for SKSE, which is the Skyrim Script Extender. Um, that'll take you to this page here and download the 7z archive. So that'll install or download a file to your desktop called um, skse 10703.7z. Install an, uh, an unzipper. So I went to the app store and downloaded an unzipper. Unzip that file and you'll end up with a folder on your desktop uh, with the skse files installed here. So, SKSC, you also need your mod. Now I've gone for the Sky UI mod. Um, let me show you what that looks like. Um, SKUI, and it looks like this. So this is just to show that the original uh, items that you download in Skyrim uh, looks like this. With the mod installed, with Sky UI mod installed, which is the one I've chosen, um, it tells you all the details about the weight, the value, that kind of stuff. So you can see very clearly there's a difference. So there are your core components. Um, now you've got Steam up and running, go to your library, uh, go to the Elder Scrolls Skyrim, right click, go to Properties, uh, go to Local Files, Go to Browse Local Files. This will open up something called the Wine Explorer. And what this is showing you is the Skyrim installation here. And this is showing you your Mac desktop. So my SKSE folder here is shown as the SKSE folder in here. This is a little bit clunky to use. OK, um, inside the SKSE folder on the Mac desktop, there's a readme file. Open that up and then it tells you exactly what you've got to do. Um, you need to copy the DLL and XE files to your Skyrim directory. So if we went on here, highlight the DLL, highlight the XE, just extend it so we can see. Uh, so I'm pressing the uh, control button to so DLL, XE, and that. Right click, copy. You then need to navigate to the Skyrim directory. And that's not straightforward. So you have to come up to this backslash, go to the applications. On the right hand side window, you've got games.localized. You won't see if you do it on the left hand side. Games.localized, the older scrolls, drive C, uh, program files, Steam, uh, Steam apps, common, Skyrim. I'll give a full path to this. And then here's the files. Then you right click, paste, and you overwrite the files that are there. Once you've done that, um, you then uh, see a file called TESV. You need to rename that um, to Skyrim.exe. I've already done that. And then you rename the SKSE loader to TESV.exe. Okay. Um, once you've done that, we then need to go into uh, the data directory and make a folder called SKSE. So you just right click on here, new folder SKSE. Go inside of that, you then need to make a new file. Um, and that file, which you can make inside of your uh, Windows directory here, your, your uh, Mac OS directory here, it's called SKSE.ini. Inside of the SKSE.ini, you have uh, open square brackets loader, close square brackets, runtime name equals Skyrim.exe. Save all of that. The next thing you have to do is go back to the SKSE uh, directory. Uh, this is on your Mac OS desktop. And under the data directory, uh, under scripts, you need to highlight and copy all of this, these items. Right click copy, and you need to navigate all the way back through um, to applications, to games localized, the Elder Scrolls, Drive C, 
program files, Steam, uh, Steam apps, Common, Skyrim, data. And inside of here, uh, the data directory, make scripts directory, and you put all of your PEX files in here. Okay. Once you've done that, you can then close the Wine Explorer. And I'll put these notes in the bottom of the video. Uh, close this window off and then th hit play. That'll make sure that the SKSE is, in, is installed. Um, so that seems to be working. Um, now, it's Sky UI. So you've put the SKSE, now you need to put the um, Sky UI in the correct folder. So uh, we will right click on here again. We will go back. Uh, you can't quite see it because my things are only go back to properties, uh, local files, pros, local files. Uh, this is now in the Scrum directory. And if you look under the data, um, you would pop your files into here. This is where all the mods are stored. So you have to go to your Sky UI. Uh, you highlight all of these and right click copy. Uh, you can go back to folders and right click. Oops, if I can do it in here. Right click. Uh, no, you can't do it in there. Sorry, I beg your pardon. You have to go back through the full path. Applications, games localized, all the scrolls, drive C, program files, uh, Steam, Steam apps, common, Skyrim, and then data. Right click. Oop, can make this bigger because you can't do it while it's like this. And paste. That'll then, I've already got the, put these files here, skyui.vsa, skyui.esp, and it then copies the mod into this directory. So in summary, you have to install SKSE. You then have to install your mod or mods inside of this mods directory. Once you've done that, you can close the wine skin and hit play on Skyrim. Just close this off. Hit play, and you should see now SKC starts, Skyrim starts, and you should see that I now have a new UI. And all of the other mods can be installed in this fashion. So once you've done the SKSE, you can then go and find the mod that you want to install, follow that process, install the mod files into that directory, and your mod to work. So inside Skyrim, uh, press the scale, uh, sorry, press tab items and as you can see I now have my new modern there which is the sky UI yeah. quit out of here quit back to the menu I'm doing the horrible way alt tab force quit and close down Skyrim Okay, guys, success. We've got the uh, the mods working inside of Skyrim. We have to install those uh, extra bits and pieces. Hopefully, that's fairly straightforward. Um, I'm going to put some links to where I picked up some of those tools and uh, and devices and some of the instructions um, down below inside of the video. So if you need specific instructions, they will be included within the video. I hope you found it useful. Um, go ahead and install your mods. It's recommended not to install more than 15 mods, um, but they do work. The next video I'm going to try and attempt, um, probably during the week, is to do Skyrim Special Edition. Apparently you can get that working as well, so I'm going to have a go at that. Um, and then that would hopefully cover all of the Skyrim things that we've been trying to do on the Macintosh. Um, any questions or queries, post below. Um, thumbs up if you really like this. Please subscribe. I'm over 700 subs now. I'm trying to get to the golden 1,000 subs. So um, if you did find this useful, please let me know. Feedback's really important to me, because then I know which way to take the channel. Um, I'm doing some other um, days out. I'm still doing things in the workshops and making knives and, and doing all of those kind of videos as well. Um, but also my technology videos seem to be getting the most views at the moment. So if that's what you want our channel to be, I can do that. Um, but please give me feedback, guys. I do try to respond to everybody that I speak to uh, on the channel. If you take the time to write to me, I'll take the time to write to you. All right, guys. Thanks ever so much for watching. Hopefully this is useful to you. See you next time on Debris Day. Bye, guys.